Okay, this is Math 2, Unit 7, Lesson 4, uh, Homework Help, looking at um, questions 9, 11, 13, 16, 17, 19 today, um, solving for angles of elevation and depression. Um, as always, remember for this, this portion here, we're going to be using our, our trig um, ratios, so that's going to be our SOCA-TOA, so always write that down, so just always remember what it's going to be, and here we go. The first questions here I'm not going to go over. This is basically you describing what is a different angle, which one is which. So is it the angle of depression, elevation, and what it matches there. I'm going to let you figure that out just so you recognize what is what. All right, moving down. There we go. Looking at number 11, 9, 11, and 13 on this page here. So looking at number 9. I have an angle measurement because they gave me an angle. I know I'm not going to use an inverse trig ratio. I'll use a regular. So I look and see, they gave me the opposite, the O. They want me to find the H. So because I have an O and an H, that tells me I'm going to do the sine of 54 instead of equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is X. Okay, cross multiply and get the X by itself. If you've done this enough times, what you figure out is that basically I can flip those two around. So x is going to be end up equaling 35 over sine 54. That's just a little shortcut there. Um, just changing the order around because if I wanted to mathematically show you, I could do it sine 54 times x, and then I'd put this sign over there to get the x by itself, which ends up looking like this. I'm just saving myself some math steps here. So then to solve this one, I'm going to go ahead and do 35 divided by, and I plug in 54, and hit sine, and hit equals, and x is going to equal 43.26. Um, I want the nearest tenth, so because a 6, I'm going to round it up to 43.3 for number 9. Okay, looking at number 11. We have an angle. There's my opposite, which means this is an adjacent and this is the hypotenuse. Because I have an adjacent and a hypotenuse, I'm going to go ahead and use the cosine of 13. It's going to be equal to my adjacent one, x, over my hypotenuse of 50. Cross multiply, cosine of 13 times 50 will equal x. Calculator out. And we do 13 and put the cosine of that there times 50 will equal 48.7. And 7 and 1, so I just chop it off. That's the nearest tenth, equals x, 48.7. So let's look at number 13. Number 13, we have a word problem, so we're going to want to draw a little picture here to begin with. Okay? It says a child is standing across the street from his apartment. Okay? So there's an apartment over here somewhere. So here's the kid standing there. Lovely. His mother is on their balcony. So mom is up here somewhere. Hello, mom. The angle of elevation between the child's eyes and his mother's eyes is 22 degrees. So from here to here, this is a straight line to the ground, this angle measurement is 22 degrees. If the distance between their eyes is 32 feet, so if this length is 32, how far is the child standing from his apartment building? Mom is in the apartment. They want to know how far is it to the apartment building. So here's my setup. I have an angle. I have a right angle here. I don't know the opposite. I have, I want to find out the adjacent. And I have an hypotenuse. So I have an A and an H, which tells me again, cosine of the angle, 22 degrees, is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse, 32. So to solve this, cross multiply, cosine of 22 times 32 will equal x. So the calculator comes out once again. And we have 22 and, sorry, 2, 22 and cosine of that times 32 equals, and I have 
0.66, so I'm going to round that up to 0.7, it goes 29.7. But it says to, let me double check, oh, it says round to the nearest foot, double check real quick, nearest foot. So I'm going to go ahead and keep rounding that up some more. <laughs> so 29.66, the nearest foot becomes 30 equals X. So he's about 30 feet away from the building. That's number 13. Okay, let's look at the back side. You get 16, 17, and 19. 16, 17, and 19. All right, so same kind of idea here. We have an angle measurement. We can look across. We have an opposite. We have an adjacent. And we have an, a hypotenuse. And it wants me to find out what the adjacent is. So again, I have an A and an H, which is the ka. So I have the cosine of 39 equals the adjacent, which is X, over the hypotenuse, which is 110. So to solve this one again, I'm going to find out the cosine of 39, 39 cosine, I'm going to cross multiply that with 110 times 110, and that's going to equal 85.48, oops, sorry, I can't write today, 85.48, and if I want the nearest tenth, I'm going to round that up. 85.5, which is going to be equal to x for number 16. Number 17, I have an angle here. I look across, I call that the opposite. I call this my hypotenuse, and this is my adjacent. So I have to find the hypotenuse, and I have an adjacent. So once again, I'm looking at the cosine of 51, and that's going to be equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse, which I don't know. A little flip-flop trade there. So x is going to be equal to 600 over the cosine of 51. So again, I'm going to solve that here with a calculator. And we have 600 divided by, put the 51 in first, press cosine, and then remember to press equals. <laughs> and so x is equal to nearest tenth. 953.4 feet. And that's number 17. Okay, let's look at one more of these before we call it a call today. It says the angle of elevation E from A to B and the angle of depression D from B to A are given. Find the measurement of each angle. Okay, so here's what they're telling you here. They're saying I have a line A to B. Here's A to B. Now my angle of elevation, that's how much I'm going up right here, is 3x minus 16 degrees. My angle of depression, which is this one, is 2 times x plus 2 degrees. These angles are going to be equal to each other. As a result, knowing they're equal to each other, I can set up an equation where I set the two angles equal to each other in order to solve for x. Okay? That will only be the first step because I do want to find out the measure of each angle. So this is step one to find out what's the value of x. So let's solve for x. 3x minus 16 equals 2x plus 4. I can subtract 2x from both sides and put an x on this side. I can add 16 to both sides to end up with a 20 on this side. So x equals 20, but that's not what it asked. It wanted to know what the um, measurement of each angle was. So for my me measurement for my angle of elevation, my elevation was 3x minus 16, or 3 times 20 minus 16, which is 60 minus 16, which ends up giving you 60 minus 16 is 44 for my angle of elevation. Okay. And then for my angle of depression was 2 times x plus 2. And I really don't have to plug it in because I said before that they're equal, but I'm just going to do it anyways. <laughs> 
2 times 20 plus 2. 20 plus 2 is 22 times 2, which equals 44 degrees. So we're just kind of confirming that they are indeed equal. Indeed equal. So my angle measurements are 44 degrees, depression and elevation. Do the same thing for the other problems, and you're on your way. Thanks.